What's up guys, John here for the Rideshare Guy. If you've been thinking about signing up for Uber, you've probably heard some buzz about sign up bonuses. I have some good news and some bad news. The bad news is that sign up bonuses have mostly been discarded in favor of the sign up guarantee. Now that doesn't mean you still can't make some extra money when you go to sign up for Uber, but it does require a little bit of a different strategy than you might otherwise employ. Typically when you drive for Uber, you want to go after the long trips uh, because those make you the most money and you make the most money while you're traveling with a passenger in the car. Um, so those longer rides tend to be the, the best bang for your buck, uh, your buck in this case being your time. With the sign up guarantee, however, you're actually going to want to go for short rides. Now the reason for this is because if Uber guarantees you a certain amount in fares after your first, say, 20 rides, and you make that amount just through your normal earnings, through your normal fares, you won't be getting any extra money from Uber. In order to minimize your expenses and maximize your profit, you want to make as little as possible so that you get that extra money from Uber uh, once you've completed the ride requirement. That way you won't have put as many miles on your car, but you'll still be making a little bit of extra cash from Uber at the end of your sign up period. Of course, you'll want to be sure to read the fine print and make sure you are actually getting a sign up guarantee rather than a sign up bonus. Uh, for the most part, Uber has done away with just the bonuses, just the, the chunk of cash at the end, and, and instead they've been going with these guaranteed earnings. Um, so a lot of new drivers aren't making as much as they expect once they finish those first few rides and they wind up not getting that bonus amount. So definitely read the fine print, make sure you know the terms of what's being offered and if it is a guarantee instead of a bonus definitely go for those short rides uh, instead of long rides. Now of course it's kind of difficult to only get short rides right because drivers don't have control over what rides they get or how long those rides are. But there are some things you can do to try and focus on the short rides rather than the long rides. The first tip for getting those short rides is to focus on the busy evening hours Friday and Saturday nights a lot of people will be hopping back and forth between bars or local spots in their neighborhood and they won't be making lengthy trips typically on a Friday or Saturday night. In the same vein, you'll want to avoid the airport and the early morning hours because that's when folks tend to be making longer trips or commuting. And if you do get those large fares, obviously it's not a bad thing because you're still making more money, but you will be closer to making that guarantee just through your normal earnings rather than getting extra money from Uber at the end of your onboarding process. And of course, the only way to get a guarantee or a bonus, whatever the sign-on incentive is in your area, the only way to get that is to use a referral code. You can use Harry's referral code above, at the link above or below in the description. All referral codes get you the same incentive. It really just depends on where you're signing up rather than on whose code you use. So although you may see some codes around promising huge bonuses, uh, most of those have gone away at this point um, in favor of the sign-on guarantees. But definitely be sure you use a code. You can use codes retroactively in some cases. Uh, just go ahead and contact Harry, harry at therideshareguy.com for more info on that. And don't forget that if you're looking to make some more money in the rideshare industry, there are other companies out there besides Uber, Lyft, does offer pretty good sign up bonuses, not sign up guarantees in a lot of places these days, um, starting usually around $100 and going up from there. So definitely check out what the Lyft incentive is in your city or sign up for Uber Eats, Caviar, DoorDash, any of the other variety of rideshare platforms. Definitely some, some good ways to get a little bit of income going there. And again, you can find links to sign up for all of these services in the description below or on the blog at therideshareguy.com. Thank you guys so much for watching and drive safe out there.